lathe operations. The operations done on a lathe are facing, turning, taper turning, thread cutting and knurling. For any machining operation, the workpiece should be held firmly and centered. The devices used for this purpose are chuck and lathe dead center. Turning Turning is the operation of producing a cylindrical surface by advancing the tip of the tool by a distance perpendicular to the axis of work and then moving the tool parallel to the axis of rotation of the workpiece. This distance is called the depth of cut. Often a facing operation is done before a turning operation. In facing, the tool is moved at the end of the work, perpendicular to the axis of work while it is rotating. This is a cutting motion and as a result, a flat surface is produced at the end of the workpiece. The general procedure for turning is as follows. Workpiece is held in a chuck with a short length projecting out and then it is rotated. Facing. Facing is done by moving cutting tool known as the facing tool across the end face of the workpiece. A center hole is produced on end of the workpiece using a drill bit fixed on the tailstock. The workpiece is partially pulled out from the chuck and the required length is exposed. Tailstock dead center is pushed onto the hole drilled at the end of the workpiece. Now both ends of the workpiece are centered and supported. The workpiece is rotated and turning operation is done using a turning tool until the required diameter is obtained. Taper turning Taper turning is the operation of producing a conical surface on the workpiece. It can be done in multiple ways. First one is the forming method. Here we use a tool of straight edge with its width larger than the required length of taper. We keep the tool edge an angle which is half the taper angle and feed it perpendicular to the lathe axis. The second one is a tail saw set over method. We shift the axis of rotation of workpiece by half the taper angle. This is done by moving the tail stock a certain distance perpendicular to the lathe axis. Then the tool is fed parallel to the lathe axis and this method is used for producing small tapers on long jobs. Third one is the compound rust method. Here the compound rust on the cross slide is swelled by half the taper angle. Now the feed given to the compound rust is not parallel but at a desired angle to the lathe axis. There are angle markings on the base of the compound rust so any desired angles of taper is possible. But the distance the compound rust can move is limited. So taper length is much shorter than the tailstock set over method. Knurling. It is the operation of producing a rough diamond like pattern on the workpiece. It is done using a knurling tool having the same diamond pattern. The tool is pressed on the cylindrical surface of the rotating tool. Along with that tool is moved along the length of the workpiece.